Hello, how you doing? This is Frank Conaway Jr. here, and I want to talk about one of the chapters in my book, Christian Kundalini and Science, Proof of the Soul, Cryptogram Solution of Egyptian Stella 55001, and Opening the Hood of Ra. That's the book. This is going to be very interesting. Well, it's interesting for me. Um, first thing I'd like to talk about is I give you on the opening page it says an answer to the riddle. It's basically talking about the riddle of Revelation 13, 18. You remember, or a person might ask, but what? Why, why is that so important? What's the big deal? Read it. Remember what it says. Here, it's right here. Here. You do know what the meaning of here is. And I'm not being funny with this. Song. Here is wisdom. So someone says, when something says, here is wisdom, and that's pretty important. The answer I came up with was eta fa ro eta nu, which is eight plus 500 plus 100 plus eight plus 50. in the ciphered language. When I say ciphered language, let me put it to you like this. A equals one, B equals two, C equals three, D equals four. That's English. You know, the Hebrew is another language. In their language, they have letters. Their letters have numerical values. This in particular is dealing with the Greek values. Because the Old Testament of the Bible is written in Hebrew. The New Testament of the Bible was written in Greek. Let's talk about that for a second. You know why the New Testament is written in the Greek and not in the Hebrew. Because of what happened. Now, from my perspective, from my perspective, It's a very sensitive subject. So, let's say you have two brothers. That's actually more than two. But you have several brothers that choose sides that are not in your family. And They have a family disagreement. And you happen to believe, or you, that's your perspective, you believe that the one family member that the other family members went against was correct about the situation. But let's say you're not a family member, bloodline family. Then really, 
the emotional part of your opinion. It has to be from an outside perspective as to what was done inside of this family. For example, if you have a family that knows how to do ag agriculture, you know how to plant, you know when to plant, they know how to read the moon, weather, seasons, and it's been their tradition not to tell anyone how they do it. And then all of a sudden, one of the family members says, well, I, I've discovered there's a, there's something called magnetism. This is a little extra abstract, but just follow me. So they say, well, magnetism, we deal with the motion of the sun and the moon, the stars. They say, yeah, but there's also a magnetic pole that runs through the core of the planet. And we might can you we might be able to utilize that also in our science. Then the family rebels against the advancement of technology presented by the family member. And they have a family falling out. Two thousand years later you follow the scientific discoveries of this person dealing with the agriculture and now you find yourself getting emotionally involved and overwhelmed as to what happened but really you're on the outside of that because that was family and that was their family business. Okay. All right. So I haven't said that. Let me move on. In the Old Testament of the Bible, it seems as though. The Lord God revealed his name to Moses. Moses said, who, who, who shall I tell them? He sent this message to them. I mean, who, who, who are you? Who am I going to say that you? Who, who am I going to say told, told me to tell them this? He's talking about his people. And it's written, I am that I am. Okay. All right. Well, then it became forbidden hocus pocus or hexus corporeus. That's what the, that's what I understand they used to say the doctors after they sold a body up and they say that you go get a surgery done and they say hexus corporeus and here's the body. <laughs> You're like, voila. But anyway, some of this stuff is funny. But you need to find a point where education can be amusing. Therefore, you can find entertainment in education, which is helpful or can be helpful versus in fiction. So this, this particular chapter I'm looking at is called See the hand, see the nail. Then it became, it became um, kind of forbidden to say the yod hey vo hey. You know, no one's gonna say that. Don't, 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 don't use that. Let's not use that. And you have to remember. We're talking 
over 1500 years later that we're not going to use that. Why are we not going to use that word? Most likely, if you can't read Hebrew. You're probably not a Hebrew. You're probably not inside their culture. I don't think it was a thing where people who read and understood Hebrew were open to teaching you Hebrew. Now we're not going to talk about what it meant. It meant they just didn't want to teach you. That's not unusual. It's not unusual. In the martial arts, it is known that many martial arts families kept secrets. Martial artists kept secrets. Just don't, don't, won't teach you. They don't like you. They won't teach you. If you see it, it might be the last thing you ever see. Something like that. That's just the nature of the arts. So you need to understand that. A equals 1, B equals 2, C equals 3. Then in Hebrew, we have Alf, Beth, Gamil. Each one of those letters equals a number. But what you also need to know is each one of those letters equals a picture of something. Yod, as in Yoda, Star Wars, Yod is hand. So a person could draw a picture of a hand and another person would know that that's a Yod. You might not know. You might think it's stopped the love you save may be your own or something. So there's communication that's going on all around you that you that you might not pick up on. For example, you might watch a movie and they might show you the, the wheel that you open up a hatch. It's like on a submarine or something or on a boat. And they show you the wheel. But what you don't see is that there's a five-pointed star <laughs> inside the wheel. So there's communication that's going on all around you <laughs> and it's hidden messages. But anyway, it's very interesting when you break down, you might want to do this, go look up the glyph images for the yod hey vo hey. which is your Yahweh or Jehovah. Or, I guess you could, well, this is page four, I think, in this, in this book. And this is, and it tells you the website and all this, you can go and get the information from. The secret name of, running short on time. See you next time.